Welcome to Scott Cooks, everybody. Today I'm gonna to be doing goulash. I know what goulash is supposed to be, but down here in the South in the United States, uh, and maybe other places, we basically just call goulash meat, some macaroni noodles, tomato sauce, and whatever else you can throw in the pot. That's goulash for us. Tonight I'm gonna to be doing it with chorizo, uh, chorizo sausage, which is gonna be outstanding. I got some small macaroni noodles. I'm gonna throw in some onions and tomato sauce and some um, celery. So let's go ahead and get started. It's going to be great. We're going to do all of that in our Ninja Foodie right now. In your Ninja Foodie, I've got two cups of water. I have about eight ounces of macaroni noodles. These are the small noodles, but at whatever size you're going to use, measurements should be about the same. Teaspoon of regular old salt. Okay, I don't need to measure that one. And you're gonna need to add some oil or butter or some kind of fat to keep it from frothing out of your um, pressure lid. So you need a tablespoon of oil or butter. I just used a tablespoon of canola. Yeah, I know I didn't measure it, but it's pretty close. Okay. Let's cook. I did want to mention that the salt is optional. Make sure you turn your valve to seal, which is all the way to the left. What we're going to do is power up our foodie. I'm going to put it on pressure. Defaults to high is what we want. And I know this is going to sound weird, but we only want two minutes with no pressure release. So when we hit the two minute mark, we're gonna pull it out as quick as we can, get it to the sink, drain it, and we're gonna put cold water on it. We need to stop that cooking. We don't wanna overcook it because we are gonna add these noodles back to our sausage and all the other stuff, and they will cook further in that. While we're waiting for that to cook, let's go ahead and cut ourselves up a half an onion. This is an actually a sweet onion, which I thought was gonna go really well with the chorizo sausage. Oh. Love the smell of that onion. All right, we're just gonna take half of it, dice it up however you wanna do it. I like to have a little bite of onion when I'm eating. And there's no sense getting any crazy tools out. We'll just cut it by hand. Simple as that. And I got a little bowl over here. I'll just put everything in. And these onions are going to cook down with the sausage. So they'll be cooked down a little bit. Even more yummy goodness. And I've got a stalk of celery here. Just something to give this dish a little bite, a little crunch. That'll do it. Throw that over in the bowl. We'll just cook it all down together. And uh, I'm going to be using this right here for my tomatoes. Organic Hunts Diced. That's a 14 and a half ounce can. We've got our pasta over in the sink. We've rinsed it. We've cooled it and stopped the cooking. Got our foodie back over here. And it's time to go ahead and drop in the chorizo sausage. And I'm just going to use my hand to, to break it up. And it'll break up further as I cook it. Let's stop right here. The smell. This sausage is so amazing. Okay, continue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, sometimes the smell really um, is a big part of the dish you're cooking. You ever had something delivered to your table and you smell it before it gets there? Makes you appreciate it even more. Okay. All right, what we're going to do is throw this uh, foodie on sear saute on medium. And we're going to start cooking these through 
and I do recommend medium. Uh, I've experimented with uh, all the settings on this Cody and uh, medium high. High is just too hot. It's just too hot for cooking meat. It, you'll burn it before you cook it. So we're just going to go with a medium. Uh, it'll heat up really fast. We'll be sizzling in 30 seconds and we'll just keep stirring that around. And once we start getting it a little brown, we'll throw in our onions and celery. When it's complete and we drain it, if we need to drain it, we will throw in our tomatoes and bring our noodles back in. Alright, it's been about two minutes. We're starting to brown up in here, so it's time to go ahead and get our other stuff in. And uh, that is also dependent on how much you want to cook down your onions. If you like them a little more raw, you want to wait a bit. Um, I like mine to get a little, I guess, near uh, translucent. Um, and that's what I would consider cooked down. Adds a lot of flavor. I like to get my onions in a little early. Get all that flavor moving along. And we're cooking up real nice here. This won't take long. Nothing takes long in the foodie. Well, we're looking pretty good in here. We're gonna go ahead and add our tomatoes now. Let's start to get everything cooked in. I did not drain this. This was pretty lean, so I don't, didn't feel like I needed to. Okay, we've added our tomatoes in. Now we're just going to be warming everything through. We're going to leave the foodie on sear saute medium, and we're going to go ahead and get our macaroni noodles in now as well. Now what we're going to do is just let everything sizzle away for a while to get all the flavors nice and mixed. And it'll be ready to eat. This was a really simple dish using not very expensive ingredients. And it made a ton of food. That was a pound of chorizo, eight ounces of macaroni, 14 ounces of tomatoes, one celery stock and a half an onion. That's enough for a big hungry family. Of course, you're gonna need a side dish to go with it. Something, the salad would be nice. And um, I'm probably just gonna have some mixed vegetables with it. And uh, if you just got two of you, you know, we're looking at dinner, lunch, or dinner, and another dinner. Inexpensive, delicious, super easy, in the Ninja Foodie. Didn't turn on my stove, didn't turn on my oven. One pot. Fresh from the Foodie. A simple, easy, Cheap chorizo sausage goulash, Scott style. We're going to top it off with some real shredded Parmesan. Don't get that stuff in the shake can, y'all. I don't know what that is. This is real Parmesan. Let's give it a taste. Got a nice big bite full here. Got a little bit of everything in this bite. Got a noodle trying to escape down there. We'll see if we can hang on to it. Here we go. Oh my gosh. That combination of flavors. It's just absolutely amazing.
<clears throat> if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. Click that like button. Make sure you click the bell for notifications. Share the video if you can. That really helps me out. Also, don't forget to look at the description. There's a bunch of links for different stuff in there. I want to thank everybody for watching. I sure do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you on the next one.